Sure good thing for those paper straws, eh? You know, they're uh, compostable, but yeah, good thing people just leave them around like that. That's convenient. So, as you can see, it was snowing out. It's kind of cold out. I think it's, it's above zero. It's around one degree. The snow has melted away since it was, you know, all over the ground this morning. So, I figured since the weather's cold and uh, can't really do much, I think we're going to get out into the cold. We're going to walk around and take a look at some things. We're over here at the pedestrian footbridge in Galt, and uh, we're going to go see what sights we can see or what uh, kind of unsavories we can see because Dixon Bowl is right there, and I know that right up back that way is where the one meth camp was. I don't know if it's still there or not, because there was the one downtown in front of the uh, welfare office. Now there's just a big massive camp behind there, as you've seen one of my past videos. And uh, if you keep going up this trail across the bridge and then down another trail, it goes out to Grand Ave. Right on the corner of Grand Ave, there's this, uh, there's this, like, this red power station that used to be there or whatever. And, uh, I don't know, he was, like, about to lean on my car or something. Anyways, there's, like, this red power station on the corner, and behind there, there's a tent. And, uh, umbrella and whatever. The tent is still up, you know, that thing's obviously not insulated, so it's probably pretty cold in there. The homeless topic kind of is kind of a sensitive one, so I'm not going to get into that too much, but I've got my thoughts. I know not all of them are drug addicts, some of them are just down on their luck, but I remember just a few years ago, I think it was 2020 actually, like I think it was April 2020, it was one of the first nice days that we actually had. So I came down here, and I went for a walk across the bridge. Sorry, my ears did she? Went for a walk across the bridge up there, and then you get to the center of the bridge, and it's like this big cylind cind cylinder. You can stand and look out the river and all that, and there's this guy laying on the concrete, on the, on the ground, I guess. And, uh kind of just looked at me and giggled a little bit and he was he was all f***ed up obviously and uh you could see he had a meth pipe in his hand and then he had a meth pipe sitting beside him but he was obviously too strung out to do anything I don't think he would have well you know they're unpredictable they're like squirrels man you just never know but anyways after this rush of cars goes by we're gonna get out and go for a walk I think used to be right there. By the looks of it, it's not there anymore. Yeah, it's not there anymore. I don't think. But I don't really want to stick around and find out. So, let's just enjoy the sights. That is a big cylinder thing that I was talking about. And he was laying right behind that glass kind of cover. Or, I don't know, it's like a guardrail. But right there, that's where Buddy was laying with the meth pipes.
there we went out for a little walk um, apologize for it being cut short it's cold out there it's, it's my car is only saying one plus one but glasses are fogging up the car is saying plus one and uh, yeah, that, that, a little bit of a breeze out there. It's not too windy, but it's, you know, it's a little bit of wind, a little bit of breeze. It gets cold after a while, especially right by the water. So I had to, I had to get back in the car, turn it on, get the heat going. But, you know, I don't know really what else to do, especially with it being cold. I don't mind going on these little walks and looking at things and checking this out and looking at that but it's better to do that in the summer that and all the looks that you get when you're you know it might seem normal when you're watching the video but when you're filming it you got to hold the camera there and get certain shots that you want i normally like to hold it there for about eight seconds or so to get the shot that i want you got people looking at you while you're doing that i think it's funny if you were doing it with a cell phone, it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but since you got an actual camera, people just, you know, they think it's the somewhere in there it's different, but it's not. It just looks different. It's a different piece, or it's a different device, but it's not different. It's still doing the same thing. It's like if you go into a store filming on your phone, it's not a big deal, but if I were to bring this camera in, start filming in a store would be a big deal. Um, obviously, I did get the camera back. If you watched all the other stuff leading up to this and whatnot, I said how I forgot my camera in the truck when I brought the truck out to storage. That happened. I did get a hold of the guy, and uh, he was nice about it. He's terrible at answering text messages, so I kept having to bug him. And uh, I say and uh, a lot, but... He eventually got a hold of me. I texted him on a Saturday, and I was like, hey, you're going to be out there this Saturday so I can get it. And uh, he said, no, but I'll be there Monday at 5. I was like, all right. So I basically, I came home from work, left early from work, so I had a little bit of time. Because I don't get back into town until around 20 after 4. It's a good thing I did leave work early, because on the way out, there was a car accident. But, yeah, got the camera back. I'm happy. I even got a little lens hood for it. I don't know if it's going to make a difference in anything or not. If I move it around, you can see it. Oh, maybe not. I might have it zoomed in a little bit. But, you know, you might have seen it in some of the shots. I actually fixed the microphone, too. How the microphone always used to hang down in front of the lens. I fixed that. I just had to push it further back, like the, the wind sock, but I had to push it further back under the microphone so the rubber ring inside the wind sock would actually catch and hang on. And another little fun fact, right, this place right here is where I got the car from. Very honest guy. So, if you have any, have there any problems with your vehicle and you need to get it fixed? Make sure you go to Water Street Auto and go. But we're gonna go check out the train bridge. So, see you there.
Yes. I made it. I barely made it, but I made it. I didn't get to see the actual front of it. The uh, engine or whatever the, whatever the front of like the main car that drives the train is called. I'm having a brain fart right now. But I made it. I got some footage of it. And you know, I raced right in here. I, I happened to, uh, what was it? I was driving down Water Street and I could see the train bridge over the Grand River. And I was, oh, there was nothing on it. So then I was coming up the Water Street past the, or I guess I would have turned on Ainsley by this point. I was coming up the uh, hill here towards GCI and I look at the br train bridge going over uh, 24 and I, there was a train going over it. I'm like, shit. So I turned the corner, I come racing up this way. I pulled into here, got out and I started recording. I got some, so I'm happy. Too bad I wasn't sooner, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. I wish there was a way that I could know when the train's coming, but I don't tell you anything. If you ask, some guy walking down the tracks there. If you ask Google or whatever when the nearest train is coming, it always tells you about the Ion train in Kitchener. I don't want to know about that. I want to know when the freight train's coming. So, let's get out of here. I mean, you can't do anything around here without running into a tent or a homeless person I think they just finished the bathroom or th I think they just finished using the bathroom under the bridge I was walking around down there I went over up on the top there and I went to go down I seen a tent was there so I figured I'd go the other way avoid it you know get down to the bottom getting some shots of the dam and then I go to go under the bridge, and there's some guy there. He just it looked like he was just pulled up his pants or something like that. He, I don't know if he's seen me or not. As soon as I seen him, I was like, "Yeah, fuck this, I'm out of here." I came walking back up the hill, and I don't know what his intentions would have been or whatever. He didn't look the cleanest, and he didn't look like he was all there. So I just wanted to avoid it. So. Yeah, anyways, it's snowing out again. It's cold. Done for the day. Thanks for watching.